the only matchup that rush distances really don't matter. The thing is, if a couple pylons get set up, that rush distance is non-existent here. So we're waiting at this point to see, well, who's going to go for a 4 gate? Who's going to alter their build a little bit? Looks like QB Khaki is going for a delayed assimilator here compared to his opponent's timing, which is completely done already. And if we do look at the units tab, 14 probes to 15. Now 16 for his opponent. Is he going to get cyber next for it? Yes. Uh-oh. Naniwa, you dirty little man. He's going to be going for the extremely fast warp gate rush. Look at how earlier this warp gate is than his opponent. And it still hasn't even gone down for his opponent at all yet. He's deciding to get that second pylon, very standard. And you can see that Naniwa actually hasn't gotten his second pylon yet. That's because he is doing a ballsy rush. This Cybernetics core nearly three-fourths done, or at least two-thirds done, before his opponent's one begins. And he will have enough gas to corner boost that out right away. This rush is so frustrating to go against. I can't even explain how frustrating it is. Corona boosting that out. The pylon timing is delayed, which means he has supply block just a little bit, but that is all what his build is about, is working on getting out the warp gate technology as quickly as possible. You can see enough chrono boost for two more, and decides to use one of those on that sentry, getting the sentry out first just for that additional energy, stealing the gas, it looks like, of his opponent, and not that's not going to be a huge deal unless his opponent wanted to go something other than a four gate, which we will never know, because if he goes something other than a four gate right now, well, not going to have the gas for it. So, right now you can see that Naniwa taking his own gas. So Naniwa has spent 150 additional resources on these geysers than his opponent. That is a very key factor, but his warp gate technology is going to be nearly done. His opponent could catch up, though, if he continues chrono boosting it out, which is exactly what he's going to do. And Naniwa not chrono boosting out this last bit of... There he goes. Just starting that right now. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Two, two gateways at the entrance. Doesn't have a fourth gateway yet. The probe at getting in position just to set up a pylon. No, cancels the pylon and gets another pylon there. So I believe that may be a tight wall in. Pretty interesting play there. But for now, his opponent, he knows that Kiwi Kaki has to go for a four-gate rush. So maybe he has something tricky planned here, as he doesn't have four gateways himself, unless I'm missing one somewhere on the map. But he's got Chrono Boost. Fun fact, Chrono Boost makes the warp gate open faster. Uh, that's always a fun thing to do. His opponent putting three pylons all on the low ground, though, which are every single one of these is not range of his opponent, and this sentry does have enough for one more force field, and the second sentry now on the field, so he can continue to do that. Although he does warp in one zone immediately on the left side, which is going to allow you to be warped in on the high ground. This is what the four gate rush is all about, is putting on this early pressure. The sentry's not able to hold it off for very long, and these gateways could potentially go down, focusing down one of the pylons while these zones force Naniwa to run around and micro here. But Naniwa does have a nice stalker advantage. Once he can kill those zealots off, that stalker advantage really starts to snowball. He has killed out a lot of these zealots so far. We do need to take a look at the units lost. It's very important. Kiwi Kaki not doing as much damage as he would like, but he did do a lot of damage by killing that pylon. And these zealots are forced now to run away. And more reinforcing zealots here, which are so frustrating to deal with as a Protoss. Only force fields really could make these zealots not as effective. It looks like another zealot on the way. Here comes the probes being pulled off the line. Again, this is a three gateway versus a four gateway rush. And this is why the rush distances on this map absolutely do not matter. Probes cleaning up the zealot surprisingly effectively and is going to push this back here. Probes getting back to work. Usually when you pull off probes, it is a bad situation, but not in this one because the force field's got trapped these stalkers and it will allow him to kill both of these pylons. This rush is O-B-E-R. For a second, I had to figure out in my head how to spell the word over. But uh, all these pylons are going to go down. This gas is still here. Four gates are all that remains. Kiwi Khaki just got face stomped by a three gate, a defensive three gate versus an offensive four gate. That is not something easy to do. Transitions into a robo bag. Looking at the pro count, it does look like Kiwi Khaki has a advantage and advantage with his workers here. Just now killing this gas, though, so he is still forced to be on these four bases, which, again, he uh, placed these like an L block from Tetris, so maybe that wasn't nearly as good as the base down here. I'm just kidding. That has nothing to do with it. It was the insane micro there. I think maybe Kiwi Kaki got a few too many zealots, and then when the probes got pulled off the line, what happened there, amigo? I don't know how he so effectively held that off with only three gateways. That is not something easy to do. It's hard enough to hold off a warp gate rush with your own warp gate rush, 
let alone when something crazy like that happens. So we do have the revise. There's no reason for an observer here. He knows for a fact that his opponent, even if he is going for DTs, by the time he spots it, he will be able to get out an observer to deal with it. Even if that DT is in his base, he can run his probe long enough around to get that. And you can see Kiwikaki may follow this up with DTs or may go for Blink Stalkers. Blink Stalkers is not a bad choice considering he could be going up against Colossus any minute, which he, he doesn't know. Oh, there it's going to be a Colossus. So he doesn't know that there's going to be a Colossus, but he knows that that's a very high chance of that being the follow up. And if it is a follow-up, he's not going to be able to get Colossus as quickly himself, so he will have to rely on those Blink Stalkers. I doubt he would go for DTs at this moment in the game, only because his opponent, since it went for the 3 gate, that means that he can easily get the uh, the tech that he needs to, or he can easily get the Robo to detect the Dark Templars. So I don't think we will see that. We will indeed see Blink Stalkers on the way now. Army size is showing 48 for Kiwikaki, 52 for his opponent. However, there is an Immortal out, surprising that he got an Observer, just because it's going to delay his Colossus a little bit. Not a huge deal, though. He can, of course, use this Observer to see what's going on, prevent any DTs from getting inside of his base. can also see where those proxy pylons are set up. So the Observer is going to be very daintily move out here. He will spot the army and see exactly what he is going against. He knows there's most likely a pylon placed somewhere, which is just tucked away over here in this nice little spot. Difficult to destroy that. And the one Immortal, though, can he focus the Immortal on the Stalkers? That's going to be the key factor here. you got to remember, though, he is way ahead in the resources, way, way ahead in the tech. Has a pylon placed right here, which he would have to kill these destructible debris in order for this pylon to do anything. So I'm not quite sure what the point of that is. But for now, it looks like these are going, I don't know where these dudes are going, but they're going to be retreating back to the main base. Blink is almost done. Robo is now on the way, but again, it's going to be so delayed. The observer spot wow, this takes forever to shape 3G. Something is amiss. I think the observer <coughs> has been spotted, so he wants to try and hide his army as best he can. I really don't know where these units are going. I'm going to be completely honest right now. It is, though, going to intercept this zealot perfectly, so that is going to, though... Oh, oh, what do we got going on here? Careful, guys, with these Blink Stalkers, as he needs to keep those alive for sure. That Zealot gets cleaned up, so I don't know. Oh, no, he's still here. He will get cleaned up right now, though. At the same time, Blink Stalkers are wondering if they want to engage this. A Warp Prism on the way for our Red Protoss uh, Kaki, but he's going against two Colossus now, and Blink can be utilized to kill him. The Colossus are a little bit ahead, but the Stalkers decide, okay, I don't want to engage this. I'm going to run away. If he blinked in there to kill him,